begin with developments in the case involving a local military family. An army soldiers behind bars at this hour accused of killing his pregnant wife at Fort Campbell. Sergeant First Class Joseph Santiago, who's from Tampa, was formally charged yesterday. But investigators say this all stems from what they're calling an incident on the base on September 27th. Santiago was arrested the next day. His wife, Megan, was taken off life support earlier this week. She's from the Spring Hill area. Our Liz Crawford is there tonight. Liz, what did her friends and family tell you about what happened? Well, Megan's family told me that she was just about eight months pregnant. She had an emergency C-section and brain surgery at the same time. Megan did not survive, but her baby girl, born eight weeks early, did survive. A friend told me the doctors couldn't stop Megan from hemorrhaging. Now, earlier today, two of her cousins, along with a family friend, sat down and shared with me their grief. She leaves behind three children, a seven-year-old boy, four-year-old girl, and now the newborn girl. These women say Megan was trying to get out of her abusive marriage and had planned to leave just before all of this happened. They put the fear of God in you, the fear of death. If you leave, I'll kill you or I'll kill your kids or I'll kill your mom. It's just, it just spirals. They don't care. Now these women took Megan's mom to Tennessee last week to see her daughter in the hospital. Her mom is wheelchair bound. You can see her here in this video following behind Megan's hospital bed. This is what's known as the honor walk for those that donate their organs. All of Megan's organs will be donated. She was small enough that some could even go to children. Honestly, her mother isn't, isn't well. She's in a wheelchair. It's hard to get her to places, but um, we had to make the trip for her so she could get some closure. So. We knew we'd do anything to get her up there. Now, Megan Santiago grew up here in Spring Hill, Florida. Her cousin said that she was a happy, vibrant girl and she had a wonderful upbringing. Now, she was living in Kentucky on base at Fort Campbell with her husband, Sergeant First Class Joseph Santiago, who again has been charged with her murder. Now, Megan's two older kids are in foster care in Kentucky. The little baby still in the NICU in Tennessee. The cousins are working on getting custody of the three children. Liz, thank you. And a spokesperson at Fort Campbell tells us Santiago was arrested a day after the incident. They said, quote, this tragic event has shaken our entire unit. We take all allegations of domestic violence seriously, and we will provide every resource to ensure a thorough investigation. According to a CBS News investigation, nearly 100,000 incidents of domestic abuse have been reported to the military since 2015. But according to a report by the Government Accountability Office, the military has not kept comprehensive data on the problem, so it's impossible to assess the full scope. Research by the nonprofit group <coughs> Boost Our Families found incidents of spouse abuse in the military were more than twice that of the national population. In June, the Pentagon's independent commission charged with examining sexual assault in the military recommended moving decisions to prosecute both sexual assault and domestic violence cases to an independent body outside the chain of command. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. If you or someone you know is in a situation where you need help, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number right there on your screen, 800-799-7233.